I'm James View. And I'm Bob View. And together we're B and B Forge. Alright, welcome back to the shop. This video we're gonna continue on with tooling up to potentially start making axes. Uh figured out well, I've asked and got answered by Niels Ogren. Um on a good starting stock for a solid body axe. Um, it's kind of what I thought it was, but it's just nice having somebody who knows what's going on actually give you an answer. So, uh, while trolling on YouTube, looking at videos of people making them, I saw an interesting set of tongs. They're almost like a claw with a little finger on the end of it and I've seen different styles they're called an axe eye tongue or an axe tongue I've also seen them axe eye and hammer eye tongs they're not like the hammer tongs that I know so I am going to try to conquer one of my least favorite items <laughs> that I don't tend to do real well at or haven't in the past but I'm going to be trying to make a set of tongs specifically for holding the axes while making them and forging them. So, I've already got my stock. Uh, I think it's a quarter inch by one inch, mild steel. I've laid it out how I think <laughs> it should be. I can't find anything on them. Can't find where anybody's made them. So, I'm going to try to do this purely off of the uh, few videos and pictures I've seen and kind of my imagination and see if I can make a set of tongs that's going to be useful for making axes. So, that's the goal. Now, whether or not I get them done <laughs> or I throw this out in the yard. <laughs> Because it's going to frustrate the hell out of me. Tongs tend to do that. We shall see. But we're going to give it a try. So stick around.
All right, so there they are. There's some funky looking things, but I saw them on the video with the guy holding the axe body. Now, I don't have the material right now for an axe. That's about the closest thing. But I'm pretty happy with them. And the fact that I made them and they came out. <laughs> I'm pretty damn pleased with these because tongs have been my enemies but I actually did this one mostly right. The rivet could have been a little better but now once he kind of got the body work there or used it to hold while punching and drifting the guy moved to using them like a hammer eye where it locked in like that and being square body doesn't roll as much so that's why they have the hook on them it's not for so much this end of it as it is once you go into the eye because obviously it's not gonna be that wide but I can see where these are pretty useful <laughs> may have to do a little tweaking on them but I'm pretty damn happy. So, if you're new to the channel and this is your first video, like, comment, subscribe. Everybody else can like and comment says you've already subscribed. So, uh, links for all the usual merch, t shirts, stickers, and all will be in the description as well as my. Patreon, PayPal, and email for anything that I make that y'all would be interested in getting. Uh, we're getting close to the quad squad meet up back at Quad State, so I'm trying to get me some traveling money. <laughs> Saving up for it. I've got a few toys I'd like to buy if I can find them for a good price. But these turned out pretty damn cool. Kind of happy with them. So. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, guys, any way you can help support the channel would be greatly appreciated. So, from BNB Fold, catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>